Welcome to another ShiftOS 0.0.5 preview. ShiftOS 0.0.5, as you know, will include the ability to customize ShiftOS through the use of the shifter. Now the shifter originally used the default Windows 8 color or Windows 7, whatever you're using, color selector for you to customize colors with. But now it actually has its own built-in color customizer. So let's have a little look at it. If I look at the title bar now, you can see that the title bar is grey. Now clicking this before would open the Windows 7 or Windows 8 color selector, but now the Shift OS color picker will appear. So the Shift OS color picker initially has very little options for you to select from. Shift OS initially starts off with the colors black and white, but since I've bought grey, you can also see grey here. Basically, this shows you the old color of the control. So since this is the title bar color, it's showing that the title bar is grey. If I wanted to, I could change the color of all the system's title bars in Shift OS to black simply by clicking the black color palette and then clicking this new black color here. As you can see, all windows, once applied, are now black. However, this isn't looking too good because it blends in with the background. A great feature of the Shift OS color picker is that it actually saves the color you've previously picked. So since I've just selected for the title bars to be black, the color black is still here, so I can instantly make the borders black as well. At this current point in time, you can't customize much because you've only got the colors black, which is RGB 000, gray, which is RGB 128, 128, 128, and white, which is RGB 255, 255, 255. So obviously we want some more colors. All I have to do is open up the Shiftorium. Now within the Shiftorium, you'll see this upgrade called Gray Shades. Now as you can see, it says seeing gray on your computer screen may be a nice break from black and white, but why have just one shade of gray when you can have three? Having more shades of gray allows you to further increase the level of uniqueness of your ShiftOS interface by expanding your range of, and as you can see, there's a little bug there because it should be displaying a bit more text and that was going to say colors. So within Shift OS, I just have to shorten that last sentence a little bit so it fits the last bit of information because I don't have scroll bars in here because I think it would look a bit messy having a scroll bars in this upgrade screen. Okay, so it shows you the new colors it's going to give you. So you have this current shade of gray, but buying this upgrade, gray shades for 40 code points, will allow this color window to have dim gray, which as you can see is a bit darker than gray, and light gray. And you can see the RGB values there as well. So let's buy this upgrade. Just note that these upgrades will appear with all the, your other upgrades as well. So it's not like, it's just because I'm doing a tester version, that's why only these color upgrades are appearing right now. So if I go into border color now, now you can see that I've got black, dim gray, gray, light gray, and white. So I've got a big range of colors here. So let's try setting the window border colors to dim gray. And I'll set the border size to five, and I'll also set the title bars to dim gray as well. Now, just because this is getting in the way a little bit, a new feature in Shift OS 0.0.5, which you'll be able to purchase from the Shiftorium, is a roll up button here. So I'm just going to roll Shiftorium up, and as you can see, it's a nice little rolled, rolled up window, and I can roll it down. It's almost like a blind. You roll the blind up, and down, and up, and up, and down, and down. And you can do it with lots of windows. It's, it's a great feature for multitasking, which will lead to the minimizing feature later. So here's a clock. I don't want it there right now, so I'll just minimize it up and you can kind of put these up there almost like a taskbar but you should just buy the taskbar upgrade later you don't really need to do that anyway I'll keep those over there for now I might have that open though and I'll show you why more shades of grey can make the operating system obviously more interesting to customize so let's say I go to the desktop and I want to change something in the app launcher right now it's pretty boring you put your cursor over these nothing much happens let's say with the mouse over I'm gonna make it appear light grey so let me click light grey. Uh, you can see a little preview here of what it'll do. I'm going to apply the changes and now <laughs> now you can just see a bug that's revealed. As soon as you click apply changes all windows get rolled down. So that's something I haven't noticed. This is why this version's not released. So I've got to make sure that windows stay rolled up when you click apply changes rather than automatically rolling down like that. Now that I go to applications you can now see this nice light grey colour appearing. But I don't want just dim grey and light grey and 
that's about it. I want some more colours. So I'm going to come back to the Shiftorium over here. I'm going to roll it back down. And I'm going to buy this full grey set. So basically, this will allow me to have a bunch more greys. Don't worry about the preview image. I haven't done any more preview images for the colours right now or the text. This is just me programming it. I do the images and descriptions later as well as a saving. Like if I quit this game, none of this will be saved now. So I'm going to make the saving feature and all of that later. This is why I don't release these kind of versions because they're not really playable. You don't want to lose your progress constantly. So let's go along with this full grey set. I'm going to buy it and it would actually display the full grey set here. But here we go. I buy it. And now, if you look at all these colours you've got available, let's go desktop background. There is a huge range of grey colours. So you've got black, dim grey, grey, dark grey, silver, light grey, this word I can't even pronounce, white smoke and the normal white. Just note that these colours are real colours. I'm not making up these names. I'm not programming these names. I'm looking up these colours and learning more about colours myself and able to be able to program this for you guys. So silver, as you see, is 192192192. That's the exact RGB value of the plain old silver. Which, let's set the background as that. Apply. <laughs> oh boy, that looks horrible. Anyway, let's open the, what were we going to open, Shiftorium again, and I'm going to show you another interesting feature. So basically, once you get all of these grey shades that I've programmed into the game, you can actually start making your custom grey shades. Now, this is where it gets interesting and expensive. Let's buy that, and you'll see this a little bit later. If I go to the title bar again, I don't know, I like customising the title bar of operating systems. Let's look at this. You can now see that I've got more colours here, and you're thinking, what? This is this white, 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 and as you can see, this isn't changing, this new colour here just isn't changing, white, white, white. Just before I continue, you can see this old colour here of the bar. If I click the old colour, that'll make it go away. That's an alternative to just pressing the X up here. Because let's say you didn't buy an X button. Well, how are you supposed to close this colour picker? Does it have to stay up on the screen forever until you change colour? No, you can just click this, so that's just an alternative to the X button. What colour do I want? Do I want the new colour? click this, or do I want to just get the old colour, or cancel, click the old colour. As you can see, these are all white. I'm going to enter my own shade. Let's say I want the shade of grey. You've got it between 0 and 255. If you try and enter something like 400, which it doesn't even exist, or 490, it'll take you back to 255. So 0 is the blackest of black you can get, and 255 is the whitest of white you can get. Anything between that is a shade of grey. So let me give you a little demonstration here. Let's say I wanted the shade of grey 25, because if you look up here, I've just right-clicked this, and it sets it to the custom colour of 25, 25, 25. So as you can see, there's a pretty big gap between black and dim grey here. Like, there's no shades of grey between those. So I'm going to add my own. So let's say I've got 25 there, I'm going to add a 50, a 75, a 200. Whoops. And as you can see, this gives me a nice range of just grey shades I can use. And you can add whatever shade of grey you want. Think, you have now got 256 different shades of grey that you can customise the Shift OS with. But it gets better. If you check out the Shiftorium now, I'll just roll it back down. You can see that you can buy blue, brown, green, orange, pink, purple, red or yellow. And all of them are just 20 code points. Pretty cheap. So let's buy purple. Now, when you buy this, it's not that much. You just, it's cheap, you only get one colour, which is purple, so let's buy it. Now if I open the colour picker, you can see grey is level 4, because each time you buy things here, it increases the level. So let's say I bought purple shades. Purple shades would give me two more shades of purple, a lighter and a darker shade of purple. And it would also bring this from level 1 to level 2 and then to level 3, and then level 4 is all about customization, where you can make your own shades. And if you buy all of these colors and get them all to level 4, you get the ability to get an any color feature, so you can actually set your own any color. You can enter your own RGB values for any single color. It doesn't have to be a shade of purple or anything, and it just gets really cool. And then later on, after you've done all that, you get the ability to make your own skins. So that's amazing, where you can do gradients and all this cool stuff. So customization starts off pretty bleak with just black and white, then grey, and then shades of grey, and then your own colour. So let's set this as purple just as a little example. Borders, I also want that to be purple. 
and apply. So now, there we go. We've just broken free of this boring, conservative, depressing grey, and we've entered into this... I'm not really a fan of purple, let's get a different colour. Uh, blue. <laughs> and as you can see, it just adds blue there, and blue is at level 1. Now, to make sure this will work on 800 by 600 resolution screens, which, oh my goodness, do not ever run the game at this resolution, but it is, it's safe if you run it at that resolution, because the biggest this colour picker will ever get is 600 pixels high, meaning it is going to be compatible with a screen resolution of 800 by 600. Let's say you're playing on an iPad mini, I, I think their screen resolutions are even bigger, but here we go, I can now set blue as a nice shade. So here we go, blue and blue. Beautiful. Let's say I want some more shades of blue. I'll simply buy blue shades. And as you can see, blue is now level 2 and I've now got a dark navy blue, a normal blue and a light blue. So let's say I wanted the desktop background to be navy blue. I'm going to go to the desktop background and I'm going to set it to navy blue and I'm going to apply that. That looks I don't know whether to say that looks good or bad. Maybe I'd better make it light blue. <laughs> that looks bad if you ask me. I'm going to make it, I don't know, purple. This is why I give you all these options to customise, because I'm not good at customising myself. So I give you guys the options to customise your own operating system. Let me just keep doing some more customization here, and I'll show you a bit more of this colour system. I'm going to modify the close button. I love the way the windows. oh, not that big. The Windows 8 close button can look, so I'm going to set that to zero, and yes, I did this in the last Shift OS video, and what am I going to do this as? Maybe a light blue, light blue close button, or maybe actually a dark blue, because it's almost like an evil dark death closing button, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so we've got that looking like that, and that just looks silly, like, I'm going to change the roll up button too. I'm going to make the roll up button, if I just change it to the roll up button, a nice light blue, because it's like, you know, I'm rolling it up, and then I'm going to set this to 50 and 0 at the top, and about 55, there we go, so now, you've got these nice little buttons here, roll up, roll down, and it looks quite different from the normal Shift OS, the normal grey and little black buttons, it's just, it looks a lot nicer. Now, let's do some more colours, so let's say I want a full blue shade set. Now you look at how cool this is. Look at all those colours of blue you've got. You've got even teal, which is, it's more of a cryon, or <laughs> I say cryon, cyan, or whatever you want to call it. It's more of a this colour, but it's a, it is a shade of blue, even though it doesn't always look like. Some of these do look a little bit greeny, like this looks greeny, but it is actually, if you look on the internet, it is a shade of blue, this colour. I'm not making these colours up, it's not my choice of what colours to put here. I do limit the amount of shades of blue here to 16. Um, same with the purples, let's get some purples. So, if I open this up again, you've got some more purples. Those look pretty much like purples, but then you start getting to the point where you get the full purple set. And you go like, whoa, what's this magenta? Magenta looks like pink. But actually, magenta is a purpley, pinky red. And it's actually, if you look online, it is a shade of purple. I would call magenta a shade. In fact, let's do something silly. Let's set the... There we go. That's magenta. Um, and I'm going to set this application launcher to... What's a nice... Uh, what about a royal blue? That's an interesting colour. And then I might set this time here. Panel clock background to a nice a, a plum, a shade a plum purple. There we go. Now I call this pink myself. I look at this and I'm thinking this top bar is pink. That's a light pink. That's dark pink. But it's not. Trust me. If you look at the pinks in this, which I haven't actually programmed all these pinks and stuff into the color shifter yet, but you will see it in the full released version, the pinks are actually pinker than this pink. So don't worry. There is a difference between pink and purple. Change that. See, see how I just get carry on with this colour thing and I get a bit addicted to it. There we go, and there's your little medium orchard colours as you put your cursor over it. And just to show you something else you can do with Shift OS, let's set the panel position to the bottom of the screen and apply that. And as you can see, you've got a nice little, almost like a start menu. Let's actually make it a start menu. Here we go. Instead of applications, it is start. 
apply. There we go. It's like the like the start menu now, and I'm going to change this font to that that font. Sorry, I can't think of a more original name than that. And I'm going to make the text size about 14. Oh, that looks a bit big. Yeah, 12. Apply changes. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and you can change the stuff there. Now, something funny you can do with panel clock, this is pretty hilarious. If I change this to wingdings, if that's how you pronounce it, and apply changes, look at how silly that looks, that's just hilarious. And let me make this desktop panel really tall, let's say, no, 25, 26, 27, yeah, 27 looks good. Apply changes, and there we go, this just looks crazy. You know, you've just got these papers and timers and stuff instead of an actual clock. I just think it looks insane and cool. Uh, another thing you can do is, sorry, this is supposed to be looking at the colors, this whole color system here, but it's going a little off track. Okay, let's change some text colors here. I want the text color here to be, would pink look like? Awful, awful, can't even read it. What about Thristle? I can't, uh, see, I'm the programmer of this and I can't even say these names. There we go, Thristle. Okay, that looks really nice, actually. Actually, it looks awful, but I was just saying it looks really nice to make myself feel better. But I just think this whole customization, making Shift OS look just how you want Shift OS to look, is just really, really nice. It's nice to be able to customize stuff. You'll even be able to skin this and imagine doing icons, and there'll be sounds and individual programs. You'll be able to change these programs' names, the back color, the text of the clock, and just everything will be customizable. I cannot explain how it, how customizable this will be, and you get code points for customizing. Every 10 seconds of customizing, you can earn a code point. So let's say I spent three minutes customizing, like doing stuff, and then I click apply changes. After three minutes of customizing, I will, and you actually have to actively customize. You can't just sit here doing nothing for three minutes, then click apply changes. It doesn't count. It only counts if you're actually changing stuff. So if you spend three minutes of changing stuff, and that doesn't mean like go and click, 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 click. That just means, you know, click this, do this, do this. You'll earn in three minutes 18 code points just like that. And think, for every four minutes, you can earn a new color, basically, of just customizing. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to have to end this now. Before I do, I just want to do some art there. Look at that. That's, getting, that's why you don't set the text font too big. Otherwise, it just kind of disappears there. So that's obviously an M. A bomb is an M there. Okay, let's see some of these other web dings. There's another one. <laughs> a down arrow. Looks so silly. Oh, next, oh, that looks interesting. Oh, there we go. Interesting text. Anyway, I'll just see if there's... Oh, another thing you can do, which... It doesn't look too good with the way I've set it out now, but you can actually position the title text in the center. But the issue with this is, yes, it's a center. You calculate duh, 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 the amount of space between here and here and here and here is equal. But the only thing is it looks just a bit of out of place. It's the same way Windows 8 does it, but it just looks out of place. It almost looks like clock. It should be kind of here because the close button and stuff kind of makes it look a bit off, off set. I don't know, off center. The Windows 8 does that too. It just has an icon here to kind of balance it out. So yeah, anyway, think about just the amount of customization you'll be able to do here with all this different stuff and it'll just be absolutely amazing. Just imagine it. Anyway, I'll see you probably next time when Shift OS 0.0.5 .0 is released. 2014 March 1st is when I plan to release this version of Shift OS, but it'll obviously have completed stuff. It won't include icons and programs. 0.0.6 will include a Pong game and also more Shifter optimize like you know customization options anyway see you next time i can click shut down here but let's finish it off with typing the good old shut down in the terminal see you next time bye